In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a line chart with two Y axes. This is something I see a lot of people asking for, and it is possible to do if you write a little bit of R code and embed it into an R visual. So as you can see, we have two series here. One, this red uh, line shows the savings rate, which is represented by this percentage over here, 5, 10, and 15%. And the blue line is the unemployment, which is represented by this blue line over here. Um, which is on a totally different scale. So I'm gonna show you how you can represent uh, this graph in, in our visual. So to get started, let's go ahead and open up a new Power BI workbook. And to start, you have to have R installed. So we need uh, one package in order to write this code. So we're gonna type in install.packages. And the name of the package is called ggplot2. Um, this is one of the main packages uh, used in order to plot data in R. So let's go ahead and select a mirror and let that install. And once that installs, you can go ahead and use it. So let's go back to Power BI. So in order to use an R visual, you have to throw in a field into the R visual. So I'm just going to actually make some dummy data. I'm gonna make a fake table. You can just click load and it'll load a fake table with a column of data. And once that's loaded, I can click on the R visual button and bring that in. And I'm just going to throw in that fake column into values. So now I can start typing. You don't actually need anything that uh, makes sense with your data. You just need something to pass in. So in order to start out, we are going to call, let's scroll down a little bit. We're going to call library ggplot2. So that's going to let us use the gg2plot library. And we don't actually need anything from the GG2 plot library other than the data set we're gonna be using. So we're gonna type in data uh, economics. This gets you really nice economic data that's gonna be easy to work with. We're gonna separate our data into X and Y's. So X is gonna be uh, economics, PSA vert. And I'm going quickly through some of the syntax because we've covered this in a couple other videos. So we're going to set y1, as in the first y-axis, equal to economics PSA vert. X was supposed to be the date. So X is date. Um, y1 is PSA vert. And let's go ahead and plot this. So to plot something quickly, we can just type in plot x comma y1. And we'll be able to see our data. So we go ahead and click the run button and we see this data as a scatter chart. So we see our savings rate, uh, or yeah, our savings rate over the time here. So we want a couple of Y axes. So we're gonna make Y2. We're gonna set that equal to economics unemployed. So this is going to be the unemployment rate or actually the number of people unemployed. So if we plot Y2 instead, let's get a good look at that data. This is the unemployment uh, as, of, as a function of time. So we actually want two plots overlaid on top of each other so that we can have one showing the Y on the left and one showing the Y on the right. So we are going to make these plots a little fancier. So let's go ahead and go back to the savings rate. So we're plotting X and Y1. We also want to make it red. So we can type in call equals red. See what that looks like, comma. Um, another uh, parameter we want to pass in is type. We're going to set that equal to L for line. See what that looks like. So now we have a red line graph. Um, we want to give the Y uh, axis a label. So we're going to type in Y lab equals, we can say savings rate percent. And we can label the X label X lab equals year. So that's all we need to do for that first graph. So that's our entire um, first chart that we want to show with the savings rate percent and the year on the x-axis. So in order to get the second graph laid on top of this first graph, you need to type in par new equals true in all caps. So this is going to allow us to plot a second plot right on top of that. Um, so in order to do that, let's just type in plot x comma y2. And we'll see a kind of ugly graph with this first one and the second one lined up on top of it. So um, you can see that it gets kind of jumbled over here. We have 
Y2 under savings rate percent. You see that our axes um, tick marks are messed up now. So we are going to have to do a little of configuring to get rid of that. So if we type in Y-A-X-T equals N, we can get rid of the tick marks on the Y and we'll see those go away. So now we're back to just savings rate uh, tick marks. We're gonna do the same for uh, the X axis, just in case they were to show up there. Um, we also wanna get rid of the Y label because it's behind savings rate percent. We're gonna set that equal to blank. And let's see if that looks like, see if that looks a little cleaner. Awesome, that looks a lot better on that side. So let's do kind of similar things we did to the first graph and we're gonna make this color blue. So call equals blue. And we also want to make the type equals line. And that's starting to look a lot better. Uh, unfortunately, right now we don't have any uh, tick marks on the right side, so we don't know the scale for this blue graph. Um, in order to do that, we want to type in under it, axis side equals four. And just doing that, it's gonna allow us to populate this Y axis over here. And you might need to spread out a little bit to get the numbers to look the way you want. Um, that just depends on how much space. This number is a little bit too big for that area. So let's make it a little bit bigger. Yep, and now all the numbers show up. Um, one more thing we wanna add to make this a complete graph is we wanna add a legend to the top left side so we can decide, or we can determine which color line is pointing to which series. So if we just type in legend, top left, and we now pass in a list of items we wanna show in the legend. So we pass in a list with C, and we're gonna type in savings rate, and unemployed. Let's go ahead and close that off and see what we have so far. So we get this little legend that doesn't tell us much, but it has our words there. We can then say uh, assign a color to each of these two items. So we say call equals, and we're gonna pass in another list of colors. So red, comma, blue. Close that off, run it again. So we don't actually see anything yet because I haven't assigned the symbol to show. And once I do that, it's just comma, LTY, LTY equals C, passing in a list of one comma one. Uh, the number there, one, specifies the actual kind of style. It's just a solid line. If we were to pass in two, two is a dashed line. So this line down here will be dashed but we actually want them both, both to be solid because they're solid in our graph. So we would have one for both and that's our finished graph. So we're able to have a line chart with two Y axes and a legend to determine which, uh, which series goes with which Y axis. Pretty easy to do in just a few lines of code. One thing I do want to stress here is that I'm not actually using the ggplot library. ggplot is actually, um, in my opinion, a better uh, way to create these plots in R other than the built-in R plotting functionality that we used here. But it is easier to create a dual Y axis if you do use the built-in R package, or not really package, but the R plotting capabilities. So keep that in mind when you're building these. Um, but it is very possible to do in Power BI. And if you have a use case for this, go ahead and give it a try. And I will see you in the next video.